Uh, what were your thoughts of the fight? Just general thoughts of the fight now. Um, going into the fight, I knew I was going to be up against um, a, a fighter who weighed more than me, Ashley Baird. She's a natural flyweight, so um, started off a little slow and then picked up my game plan by listening to my corner. And um, I um, been having a problem with my finger, so I think I might have like fractured my finger like early in the fight. So it kind of kind of stopped me from throwing my right hand as often as I wanted to. Could you tell us about your decision to switch from? Orthodox and South Park and back to Orthodox and Eastern? Um, yeah, that's just something that has always been part of my style since I was a kid, since I was eight years old when I first started boxing. Um, switch hating has just kind of kind of been my thing. And wh which side do you consider yourself stronger at? Um, I mean, definitely right-handed, but I find myself being able to, to, to land um, certain punches better in softball stands as well. At the end of the fight, she let out a yell as if she felt she had won the fight. Yeah. Uh, saw her do that. Uh, what did you think going to the cards? I mean, did you, thought, did you think you decisively won? Did you think it was close? Yeah, going, going to the cards, I knew that, that that I was ahead. I mean, my one thing about my corner, they're definitely not going to lie to me. When I came back in the second round, they were like, you lost that round. So I didn't do enough in that round. Um, so, yeah, I definitely trust my corner when they tell me that if I'm ahead or not. So I, I knew I was. I knew it was clearly. She was, she was able to connect with left hooks early on. What, what adjustments did Junior Corner make to not have you get hit so often with left hooks? Yeah, she um, is a boxer. She moves. Um, she, with the times that she does try to come forward, she kind of jumps in with those wide punches, like you said, sorry. Um, so you kind of, I kind of had to make an adjustment by by staying close to her in the inside and staying down. That way her wild shots go over my head. So that's one of the adjustments that we made towards uh, the middle end of the fight. How difficult was it? How convinced are you? Convinced of what? The decision. Um, oh yeah, I, I mean, I thought I won the fight, definitely. Yeah. What, what worked best for you, Samantha? What worked best for me was um, when I made the adjustment to stay close to her on the inside because she wants me to stay, she wanted me to stay on the outside to have a bit of a distance so she can leap in with those wild long shots that she throws. So um, because I kind of couldn't really use my right hand the way I wanted to, I was kind of hesitant to go in because our game plan that we're working on during training camp was to lead with the right hand or um, throw more of a of throw more overhand rights, throw more hooks to the body with the right hand. Um, so it kind of took me a bit to, I kind of had to adjust that because I, I was like, okay, I can't really use my right hand the way I want to. So I kind of had to get in the inside by just um, covering up at times and just staying low and encountering. Stylistically, was she one of your most difficult opponents and how would you rank her amongst the many opponents that you faced? Um, stylistically, I think, um, I mean, she's a natural flyweight, so that was definitely something that made it difficult because she um, was going to go in there as the bigger, heavier fighter, and I already, I already knew that going into the fight. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, difficult to fight somebody who kind of just leaps in with wild shots like that. You have to have good timing, and you have to make sure that you don't get caught on the way in or on the way out with certain shots, um, which, of course, I, I did get hit with certain shots like that, but then... But my trainer kept reminding me to make those adjustments, make sure you stay low on the inside, that way your shots go over your head. How different yeah. would a fight with Valor look, do you think? I mean, I feel, I feel like I've faced fighters in my career who are, who are better than your Yokosabaya. Um, she's just very basic, slow feet, um, no footwork. I mean, I, it's a fight I've been wanting. I, I, I just want the speed fight to happen already. Well, now, 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 now that you... Now, oh, I'm sorry. Do I think, I think what? Udika's better than... Uh, well, it's different, different styles because Udika is more of a boxer mover. Yokosa kind of just stays in one spot and also in a control. Now that you got a little acquainted with her in the ring tonight, how excited and are you for that uh, unification or that undisputed title? And you feel now that you know the undisputed title is now in reach? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, hopefully her being here is a step forward to making the fight happen. Um, you know, this is we, this is the date that we offered her to, to fight um, for the undisputed fight, but they couldn't make it happen, whether it was her and her team in Goldberg Promotions, whoever, they just um, didn't make it happen for this fight. So hopefully we can get that going next. She mentioned uh -oh. about going to her yeah. backyard. Would you go? Would you be willing to do that? I'm not going to Costa Rica. She makes she makes chump change in Costa Rica. If she wants to make good money, she can come here and fight me. The offer that we made to her in the first place was, was very good. So, um, yeah, there's no reason for me to go there. Um, she can come here. How confident are you that that fight could realistically be next after, compared to like after the Rubik fight? 
Um, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty confident that it could happen next. Um, I mean, hopefully her being here wasn't just her just showing up just to show up. Hopefully that was a step forward into making the fight actually happen next. Denise, uh, a lot of the noise in women's boxing is in the upper weight divisions. Katie Taylor, Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall, etc. We've seen what Inouye's been able to do as a lower weight fighter in men's boxing. Yeah. The pathway to his success has been through Undisputed. Is is that what you're chasing as well? Definitely. My goal is to be um, Undisputed in three different weight divisions. So I, I want to do it by starting off being Undisputed at minimum weight, going up to light flyweight, doing it there, and then going to flyweight. And um, hopefully doing the rematch with Marlon Esparza, where she has all the belts. That'll be a great fight, big fight for women's boxing. So, um, yeah, that's that's my goal. How do you think um, more than one. Uh, working with Oscar and Golden Boy before and trying to make the fights, you know, on the other side, does that become difficult or have you guys already, you know, just because, you know, your relations still there? Yeah, I mean, of course, that's played a part. It's, it's business. Um, and I think I think Golden Boy Promotions, they, they know what's going to happen when I face Fusta Maya. They, they, know, they know who's a better fighter skillfully. There's there's levels to this, and, and I'm definitely on another level than Fusta Maya. You think there's any type of bitterness because they did promote you, they build you up, they know what you... Now it's like, why should we help you reach your goal if it's over here at top rank opposed to going? Oh, of course. That's definitely that's definitely a part of it, but I'm um, confident that top rank will, will work through that, um, work through that, the business part of it, and, and make it happen. Happy with top rank, and how does the experience go? compared to your experience with Golden Boy? Um, everything's been been great with Top Rank. I'm, I'm just grateful that they believe in me and they're giving me this opportunity and platform to, to headline and to just go after all the fights that I want. What would you rate this performance? Would I rate this performance? I would rate it, I don't know, like a, like a D minus. I knew you were gonna be, I knew you were gonna be hard on yourself. <laughs> I'm always hard on myself, but yeah, I mean, you, sometimes you got you got to fight through injuries, and you know I, I I try to listen to my corner as much as possible. That without them knowing the the pain that I was going through with my um, with my right hand. So. Did you know that Vanya was going to be here today, or was that a surprise? Um, I didn't know that she was going to be here. Yes, yes. Um, so I mean, it, it's a good thing. Hopefully, it, it, it leads to the fight happening. What was the finger a camp injury that happened during the fight? Ah, oh, man, it, it it happened many fights ago, and it's kind of an injury that I I deal with during training camp here and there. Um, but it's not as bad as tonight. Yeah. How, how long are you? How long are you willing to wait for the Vaya fight to happen before you make your decision to move on to a different op opportunity? Um, I'll I'll speak to, to Top Rank in, in a couple of weeks and see what they have planned as far as like as far as the, the next date for me and and um, hopefully Yokosuka is, is everything works out. Looks like it's going smoothly with accepting the offer. Um, but if we can't make that happen. Um, they know that I just want to, I don't want to wait around for her. I, I want to move on and I want to f go to light flyweight and hopefully fight um, the winner of Kim Cabal and Jessica Plata. Um, and just, I guess, go, move up, become unified champion there. And then hopefully when your coast is ready, I'll go back down and I'll fight her. I don't, I don't know. But so, so you, do you think the injury for your hand, in your hand, is it going to require surgery? Is it just something you need to rest for a long time or? Um, it could just be a, a small a, a fracture that just needs to be, I just need to be, um, I just, it just needs some rest, could, I think so. Could delay your return to the ring a little um, bit because you might need more rest or? Um, I don't, I don't think so. I'll, I'll, when I get back home, I'll, I'll take an extra, get an extra on Monday and see. But um, I don't think it'll be anything that'll keep that brain for long. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you. 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 Thank